What's going on, everyone? Benny No back at it again with some Benny No's Road to the Show. That's right, man. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the one and only Rob Manfred. We're going to talk about the Astros, and we're going to hit some home runs with Benny No, man. Let's get it on. If at any point in this video, if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. I love answering comments. It might even answer yours. And don't forget to binge watch these videos. That's right. A card's going to pop up right up here. Let's keep the Benny No train going all day, every day. Happy Thursday, everyone. That's right. Yes. So let's just jump right in. I want to talk about the sad state of baseball right now. One, with the ridiculous commissioner that is in charge right now. And two, with the Astros, who obviously... Everyone knows cheated and are just acting like they did it and don't care. And it makes baseball look bad. And now you got players hating players. And it's just a real sad state of baseball right now, unfortunately. Um, Rob Manfred is, if you guys have seen the interviews, this guy is out of touch with almost everything going on with baseball. Let's dynamic challenge. Let's go ahead and drive in a run here. Um, I'm... <laughs> Who knows if Rob Manfred's days are numbered as commissioner, but, man, I surely hope so. I sh I, it's sounding like the whole baseball world and the whole sports world hopes so. At least that he steps up and vacates the 2017 World Series because, obviously, that is something that needs to happen. Everyone in the world, it seems like, is calling for the Astros to vacate the World Series, and I'll be honest, I'm on that, tr I'm on that train, yeah. I am of the opinion... Oh, is that ball launched in the right center? We're going to start with a home run way back. Yeah, baby. Benny No came to play. And he gets the dynamic challenge, man. All right. Awesome, man. And at Angel Stadium. You got to love that. Man, amazing. Okay. Wow. What I'm getting at is a lot of people are like, <clears throat> the Dodgers don't deserve the World Series. And I don't think they do either. I'm not saying give it to the Dodgers. I'm not even saying... That there needs to be a parade here or anything like that. I don't want that to happen. The Dodgers did not win the 2017 World Series. They should not get the World Series. They should not be recognized as the World Series champions. That's not what I'm talking about. There should be no recognition of a World Series in 2017. It should literally be stated that this, this World Series was played <clears throat> in unfair circumstances. And the Dodgers did not have a fair... Oh, wait, wait. Booyah! Two home runs back to back, man. Nice. I should talk about the Astros and Rob Manfred more often. I seem to be hitting home runs. No, what I'm talking about is there needs to be a vacancy in 2017. Sorry. This World Series was tainted. There was uh, <clears throat> other factors that contributed to an unfair game, an unfair series. And for that reason, we are not going to recognize the 2017 World Series champion. That sounds amazingly fair and an amazingly easy solution <clears throat> for the rest of the world i don't know how it could happen in baseball i mean i'm sure there's a lot of hurdles that need to happen for that to happen but i really feel that the baseball world and the sports world would calm down a little bit about this <clears throat> if that's what happened i don't even need the astro players to come out and say sorry i don't even care anymore about that i don't want apologies from those guys they're cheaters <clears throat> their mentality is uh Something I would not want to instill into my son, you know, having that, oh, to me, it's the whole Ryan Braun thing. I didn't do it. How dare you ask me type of mentality. And then, oh, yeah, you got proven that you did it. And then it's like, okay, well, now let's just not even listen to those guys anymore. I mean, I wouldn't even believe half the stuff they say anymore. But that's not the point. It's not even about them. I wouldn't even pay attention to them. It's just like, you know what? <clears throat> The world recognizes that the 2017 World Series was tainted and shouldn't be recognized as a winner. Come on, come on, and that's good on, enough for me. Because <clears throat> that would take away all their pride. Uh, the Astros, they actually feel like they won that fair and square. You know? That's the sad thing is that in their mind, everyone can see that that's what they're thinking. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're just apologizing because someone told us to. And the reality is we feel like we won fair and square <clears throat> well to 99 percent of the rest of the world yeah right you guys while it can't be proven it helped you or it didn't help it, 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 you can't prove what happened what we can prove is that it was tainted it was illegitimate 
And I think you would, even they would admit to that. That's what I feel needs to happen. Who knows what's going to happen? Probably nothing. Because that's just how MLB seems to work. They like to sweep things under the rug. Kind of forget about them. And hope that once the season starts, everyone's going to forget about it. But the beautiful part is the players, they're not letting this go, man. They're all upset. They are all legit li is upset at the commissioner. Who knows what's going on with the players union. But they're definitely upset with the Astros. And I think it's beautiful that everyone is just turning their heads and faces away from the Astros because they cheated. People need to recognize that they cheated and something needs to be done so that the rest of the world can go on and the baseball world can get past the fact that they had a cheating scandal in 2017 and then possibly 2018 and 19. And that's something that unfortunately is gonna taint the sport and just it's all around bad for everyone and it's just really sad. Let's play another game. Game two, baby. And what I want to <laughs> we're at Angel Stadium. And what I want to I'm super excited for the Angels this year. Uh, not for their, you know, their pitching or whatever, but their lineup, man. I'm, I'm excited to go see those bats play. And because Angel Stadium is only like a good 15 to 20 minute drive for me, I go to Angel Stadium quite frequently. Not an Angel fan, but I love baseball. I love Mike Trout. Now I get to see Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, uh, Rendon, Albert Pujols, Keenan Middleton, who I love, is a rel middle reliever for those guys. I'm not sure what his role is now, but he's a, a relief pitcher. Love that guy. Looking forward to seeing all those guys next, this, you know, when the season starts. Oh, man, I'm excited to go watch the Angels. Obviously, I'm a Dodger fan. I'm excited to see the Dodgers, too, of course. Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger. Who knows who's going to be in left field? I'm not sure. A couple of good options. Oh, yeah, that ball's launched into right. Way back. Boom, shock, and lock him, baby. That's right. Home run for Penny. No. He obviously loves playing at Angel Stadium, man. Or maybe just the pitchers love giving him high fastballs. Because he is just launching them out. That's our third home run in this video, man. That is awesome. Stepping on the plate. Giving the Lord Savior some thanks and love and appreciation. Giving his teammates some love. Amazing. Let's take a quick look at this replay. Boom, that ball was blasted. See, this is why I want to go to Angel Stadium. I'm going to hope to see a lot of home runs and would love to catch a game home run ball there. Never caught a game home run ball at Angel Stadium. Matter of fact, I've never caught a game home run ball, period. I've gotten two of them, but they have not been caught on the fly. One dropped and one was over my head and I picked it up on the ground. Hopefully this season is the season where I catch one on the fly, though. We got the 4-1 to one lead runners on first and second. Benny, no, looking to do more damage. Little blooper to first ends that challenge, man. That's not good. <laughs> it's all right, though. It's kind of hard to get mad at him when he's got three home runs, uh, you know, in, in two games so far. And if, look at that. 643 average, five home runs, 13 RBIs. Man, Benny no having a remarkable first month here in, <laughs> in Major League Baseball. Okay, here we go. Nine to one. This game's a mute point. It's just about hitting and having fun now. We're losing, uh, we're winning 9-1. to one. Unfortunately, a pop-up there for Benny, no. But definitely, like I said, looking forward to going to Angel Stadium and Dodger Stadium. If you guys are going to be at the stadiums, let me know. You guys, I'm a very welcoming person. If you see me in the stadium, come say hello. Love talking to the fans. Love talking to anyone about baseball. So just come up, say hello. You know, let's have a good time. Okay, here we go. 10-3. to three. This game, like I said, is a mute point. Base, uh, base hit up the middle. Runner is not going to go to third. I would have stretched it to second. But he's not feeling like he's got blazing speed like Benny No does. Two for four, or is it two for five? Two for four in this game with three RBIs, man. Amazing. Okay. From the right side of the plate, looks like the Angels are slipping back in. 11 to five is the score. We're in the eighth, though, so it's still, you know, not possible. Well, it's possible, but not probable that the Angels come back. But who knows? They still got two more at bats, so runner off first, two for four, looking for a three for five day, maybe a fourth home run. Here we go. Oh, yeah. oh is that going to? Nope, that's going to be a fielder's choice. It's not going to be a hit, and they got Vanny. No, might have even turned two on that one, man, unfortunately. Oh, man, yeah, a little frustrated there. Come on, we got to do much better than that. Good thing we're winning 11 to five. We got the victory. Looks like Walker Bueller was the pitcher who gets the win. Benny No goes two for five with a home run and a single, baby. We're definitely playing one more. Game three of this video, we're still at Dodger Stadium playing the Chicago Cubs. I'm a little excited to play the Cubs, but really what I'm more excited, I want to go to Wrigley Field this year. That's right, I've never been to Wrigley Field. 
Um, it's definitely one of the stadiums I've been wanting to go to, and I hope that this year is the year I can cross it off the list. Um, I've had numerous chances to go, but just have never seemed to make it happen. So this year, would love to get to Wrigley Field, man. Um, for those of you in Chicago, let me know what's the food out there that I got to try, man. Obviously, you're going to tell me some deep dish pizza, but if you guys frequent uh, Wrigley Field, let me know what the food is to eat there, man. I love eating food. <laughs> when I go to Dodger Stadium, the food for me has become, in left field, they have a barbecue area where they make certain dishes. Oh, is that ball launched in the left? Off the wall, baby. That's going to be a double, right? Yep, at least a double. Is he going to be safe at third? Looks like he's in there. They have a barbecue area where they make these uh, hot dogs with pork on top of them. Oh, my God, they're so good. I would say a Dodger dog, but don't get me wrong, man. I've been there a lot of years, and I've eaten many a Dodger dogs. The Dodger dog is not what you want to eat. It's the super dog that you want to get. The Dodger dog is a thin piece of whatever, and it's not even, like, super good. It just tastes like your average, average uh, uh, hot dog that you buy. But the all-beef one is a thicker beef piece of sausage, and it is so delicious it's a couple dollars more but it is so worth it way better than the actual dodger dog just my opinion okay here we go we got a six nothing lead man everything else is a mute point the dodgers are going to take care of the cubs like my dodger team has taken care of every team i don't even remember our record but we are like something like 62 and, and maybe 73 and, and 30 we're like 40 games above 500 if i'm not mistaken the Dodgers this in this road to the show are just tearing it up, especially since Benny No's been called up. Oh, look at that! Chicago with a comeback. We're down 7-6. to six. Runner on first, though, and big chance for Benny No. The controller is shaking. Sidearm throw. Oh, why did I move the PCI? I didn't have to move it. That slider looked like it was coming up. This is uh, Steve Shizik, I think is how you pronounce his name. Could be wrong, and if I am, I'm sorry. Submarine thrower. Let's see if I can get a good pitch to drive. Here we go. Oh, man, I just missed that. Going to be late. Ah, okay, here we go. No, it's you count, man. I want to be clutch right here. Come on, Benny. No. Let's go. Let's see what we could do. Three home runs in three games. Is it possible? Here we go. O2 count. Ooh, staying alive, right? Is that a foul ball? Yep. We're going to do it again. Woo. I don't even know how I got a piece of that. That ball, that PCI was way high. Okay, here we go. O and two. Buckle my shoe. Here we go. Come on, make it happen. Benny, no. Need some clutchness. And that's not clutch, man. That's tailor-made. Wow. Big chance for Benny No, and he blows it, man. Not the way I wanted to end this game. Hopefully, we get another chance of an at-bat. Is that how it's going to go? Nope. We lost, man. Unfortunately, man. Jeez. Benny No had a chance to do something special, but it just wasn't his day. Don't forget to binge watch these videos, you guys. The card's going to pop up right up here. Let's keep the Benny No train going all day, every day. Like I said, baseball's right around the corner. I'm excited. I'm excited to get back and watch it. Some baseball, hopefully fair <laughs> and no cheating baseball. Aye, aye, aye. Peace.